Looks like this goes out to the main road. And there's a temple over here, guys. I could hear kids singing. I guess that's a school right there. Hi, how are you? I'm guessing this is where people light a candle, say their prayers, and maybe make an offering. Guys, while we're here, I think uh, I think we should try to make it a point to go see the big Buddha and the temple. Let's see if we can find it. You can see, guys, it's not exactly a perfectly sunny day. Again, once again, it's very hazy, but it's also a bit cloudy. In addition to the haziness, and it's... <coughs> fan was blowing dust around. And it's, uh... Man, I don't know what that was. I don't think it was dust. <coughs> it's like mace. <coughs> and what I'm getting at is... I got sweat dripping down my back and okay I'm walking and I just had a whole bunch of hot chow but it's still uh, it's still hot guys I can see the top of the Buddha from here so I don't know if it's a straight shot but uh, as a crow flies if I stay on this road it'll run right into it it looks like school just let out Seeing a lot of students. Looks like they all wear uniforms here. Uh, Buddha, big Buddha. Big, big Buddha. Buddha, can I straight on this? Okay, big Buddha? To the left. Go to the left. Yes. Okay. Chinese, big, oh, big Buddha. Big Buddha, yeah. And temple, big Buddha. Wow, oh, so far. Really? You will go to uh, the minutes uh, red because uh, you cannot uh, stay. Can't go through. Doesn't go through. Yes. So I have to go that way. Yes. And then go that way. Yes, yes. I okay. understand. You go with me. No, no, it's okay. No problem. No problem. Okay, I find thank it. You, thank thank you. you so much. So kind of you. Wow. You too. That must be the school bus. Hey, what's up, guys? Barefoot vlogger. You're going to be on it now, if you don't mind. Barefoot vlogger. How, how's school? Good. You guys all speak English? They teach you English in school, huh? A little bit. A little bit. It's good. Okay, can you tell me to go to the Big Buddha? Can I walk through here, Big Buddha? Yes, go. Just go straight? Go straight. Okay, that's what I'm going to do. You can ask us. Ask somebody down there? Yes. Oh, I don't, they don't speak English like you do. You speak good English. Okay, thank you, thank you so much. What, how old are you guys? What age? 15. 15? What do you want to be when you grow up? What do you want to be? What are you studying? Doctor, lawyer, engineer? I want to be a business owner. Business owner? Wow, what kind of business? Like a bar. A bar? <laughs> he wants to own a bar. All right, let's go do some research. What's your name? FOMO. FOMO. Ooh. Fear of missing out. Ooh. There you go, FOMO. Have a nice one, guys. Nice chatting with Thank you. you Take care. It's interesting. Some of the, uh, it looks like, I don't know if, what the age is to ride a scooter, but it looks like students. Riding scooters here. I'm ha I got a feeling though. Uh, oh man, that that big boot is pretty far. So I'm not sure. Hello, so what do you call? Big Buddha. Big Buddha. Big Buddha. Big Buddha. Can I walk through here? Okay. Go straight. Straight is good. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. The other guy said you can't go straight. I don't know. Maybe he was telling me something. Hey, how are you? How was school? Good. Good school? You speak good English? Little. You, little? Yes. I'm from America. America. Yeah, you like America? We love, we love Thailand. That's so cool. Sure, it's not every day. Some guy's walking down their street path to school. That This is totally out of the uh, tourist areas. <laughs> He's holding a funky looking space age camera and uh, 
tells you he's from America. So they get to practice their English a little bit. So yeah, it's about that time. It's uh, like 20 to 4, so school probably let out at 3, 3.30. And they're making their way home after another day. This is the school, I guess. Wow. They got a, looks like a soccer field there. Hello. How are you? How are you? You know how to say it. There you go. You guys speak good English. I'm impressed. I'm impressed. A lot of young folks speak English here. It's good. Comes in handy in this world. Love it or hate it. Say what you want about it. Judge it all you want, but it is a fact. That, uh, oh. it comes in pretty handy. Okay, looks like the first guy was right. There's a building in my way, so I'm not a crow and I can't fly straight, so we have to. What's up, guys? Hello! hello. Say hello to YouTube. Yeah, Say hello to Thailand. YouTube from America. I have a vodka. I'm from oh. Thailand. Well, oh, we love Thailand in America. We love Thailand. I'm going to, uh, what's going on? What's your name? Uh, name? Name? My name is Hans. Hans? Yeah. Wow, did I say it good? Oh, nice to meet you. You? What's your name? Bangkok. Did I say good? All right. School's over, right? No more school? School's over. How do I get to the Big Buddha? Big Buddha. Big Buddha. Big Buddha, how? Big Buddha. Where? Big Buddha, here? Left? Big Buddha? All right. Okay, thank you, guys. Thank you. Kapu Krap, Kapu Krap. Big Buddha, here I come. We got Americans in the house. Oh, right at home. Old piece of Florida. Mickey, Minnie. What's the little guy's name? Little Mickey? I don't know, wait. Or am I thinking of, I love Lucy, little Ricky. Hello. Guys, just look at this point of view shot that I have here now as I pass these apartments on this street. Nice. Ponies. It's funny too, guys, because you get to see the kids coming home from school, different countries. I saw it in Cuba. They were wearing their uniforms. Now I'm seeing it here in Bangkok, Thailand. And uh, I know I got to go this way. I got to get so lost going back, but we always figure it out. Keeping it real, guys, I'm not gonna lie. I, I saw a couple of sour faces. A couple of sour faces, but you know, they just, for whatever reason, they uh, they felt the way they did maybe. I mean, you can read a lot into facial expressions, right? But I, I'm talking about, guys, a couple here or there. Most everyone, you could just see the genuine smiles in their faces when they say hello to you and greet you. And it's a wonderful thing. What is this? Oh yeah, because it's Chinese New Year. You see all the red and gold, the banners. It probably say Happy New Year. I don't know. He's making something here. Hello, sir. Hello. How are you? I'm fine. Good to see you. What are you making? Paper. Uh, paper ceremony. Oh, very good. Does this have to do with uh, Chinese New Year's? Yes. Beautiful. Year of the Dragon, right? Yes. Is it good luck? Yes. Well, we could use some of that. Thank you so much for sharing that. You're Happy New Year. Here you go, they're making it. He's bagging it up, look at that. Wow, it's decorations for celebration, right? Look at them all. You got fireworks in there, looks like fireworks. What is this? You know I'm gonna at least take a few steps on it. Certainly don't want to swim in that. But it's pretty cool that these houses back up to this 
this little canal here. I'm not sure if it if it's used for you know runoff or uh, gray water or anything like that or even sewage. I don't know. They have creeping bougainvillea vines here in Thailand also. It does like warm weather. Beautiful. So this will uh, this will run right through to the main canal, guys. It makes sense that this is here because that's probably where it empties into. I'm gonna turn back guys because I want to get to that Buddha but there's a intricate inner working of spider webs of these little back streets if you will that people can access their homes to they're on water like this and some of them actually end right on that main canal that I showed you before so pretty easy for them to uh, you know come and go using that main artery There it is. We're getting close, guys. We're getting close. All right, guys, I don't want to overshoot it. I don't know if I should go up this block, keep walking, because this road seems to take a bend to the left. So what's a good sign guys, it's kind of like, you know, when you've been floating at sea and you start to see birds and twigs floating, you know, civilization is near. Well, I'm seeing some, I'm seeing some tourists here and uh, I have a feeling, what's up guys? Big Buddha? Big Buddha. This way? Big Buddha. Thank you. Thank you. I think it's right up here. There it is. That was the small one. The big one is right there. You can see his back. Wow, this is beautiful, guys. Do you guys know the name of this temple? Name? No? I call it Big Buddha, but right there. Yeah, it's you have to go there if you want to go. Go there, it's information? Oh, you got to go there to get to it. Yeah. Right here. Okay. Where are you guys from? France. Oh, you're from France. Yeah. Francais. Oui, oui. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Enchanté. A bientôt. <laughs> Bonne chance. Yeah, you too. Bonne chance. Good luck. Look at this view. Guys, again, unplanned. Had no clue I was coming here today so happened it was very close to where we were going somebody's ladders we have pigeons what do you think this is central park Quite a break from the Spanish River Boulevard Bridge, isn't it? Oh, here comes another one. This is very cool, guys. So there, on the other side of this river, is the Big Buddha. It's always further away than it looks. Well, wait a second, there's two Big Buddhas. There's Big Buddha number one, and Big Buddha number two. But how do I get in there? And look at this one laying down.
Yeah, it looks like they're doing uh, they're doing work here on this side. Oh. Oh. This is how to get to it. Damn, a lot of broken eggs. Look at that. They're using it to help build the fertilizer in the plant pots. Hello. No, this way? Thank you, sir. All right, he set me straight. That's good. Well, you can see this is this is actually right here is a tourist destination, obviously. So they have all these little shops here to uh, good little business. Look at this here, guys! Wow, it's so pretty. With these trees providing some much-needed shade. There's a bathroom here, and I want to just wash up if I can. My hands are so sticky from my food. Oh, this feels great. I feel like diving in it. Well, the hard part is over, guys. Now, uh, just follow the crowd, as they say. And there, uh, there is a pretty good one. Guys, obviously they're scaffolding around and you can see here in this video, they're showing the work that was being done. I'm not sure if that was in the original construction of it or to do some reparations to it. Gives you an idea of the scope and size of this thing. So the actual name is Great Buddha. Not Big Buddha. The Pagoda is the Great Pagoda. So the Great Buddha is this way. Also, you see, you have to take your shoes off here, which I will do, but I want to go see the Buddha first. Buddy Cop. Yeah. You're famous now. You're famous. How are you? <laughs> Can I shake his hand or no? Can I say hello to him? Can I say hello to him? Okay. Okay. Hello, sir. Hello. Sawadee From America, USA. Mata America. Huh? Mata America. Oh. So nice to see you. Can you ask him? Do you speak any English at all? Yes. Okay. Can you ask him if he had to say one thing to the people in America with all his years of wisdom, what would he tell them? Translation. I'm a what? A realist? Yes. Oh, okay. That's a good thing, right? <laughs> My new friend. Thank you so much. What is his name? Sook. Raku Sook. Raku Sook. Yes. He's all been in your life. 100, 100 years. He's 100 years old. Yeah. Tell him it's my pleasure today to meet him. I mean, I appreciate his oh. kindness so much. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Oh, couple crop, couple crop. Yeah. Yeah. Here you don't need you. Yeah. <laughs> he wants me to walk with him? Uh, uh, what? Well, I'll do him. Oh, 
นี่หรอใช่ไหมอ๋อ his name oh this is his name right here yeah wow how long has he been here has he been here most of his life อ uh, ๋ออยู่นี่กี่ปีแล้วโอ้ยเซเว่นเซเว่นตีเกียร์ตั้งแต่พันห้องสมุดนี่อีกห้องสมุดได้เปิดเมื่อปีสองสองเนาะอ่าน่าทินอ่าน่าทินสิบปีอันนี้เราอายุจะจะเข้าร้อยแล้วเนี่ยเก้าสิบสี่เก้าสิบห้าแล้วจะถึงร้อยแล้วอืมจะได้แข็งแล้ว <laughs> Tell him it's my pleasure. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Take care now. Thank you. Bye bye. Onward and upward. Wow, the pagoda. It's up there, guys. As is the Buddha. The giant Buddha is giant, and standing underneath it. Is one of the most spectacular vantage points in my life. Guys, it's incredible. By the way, now I know how an ant feels when it's about to get stepped on. Unbelievable. Guys, many years ago, I traveled to Cairo, Egypt, and I stood at the base of the Great Pyramids. I also actually walked inside of them back in the day when you were allowed to do that. I don't think you're any longer allowed to. But at the base of the pyramids, I remember looking up and then just having this realization of how <laughs> small people are. When you see some of the achievements and accomplishments of what they've done, many of which are in dedication to a belief in something a lot greater than them. It just it, it it boggles my mind that just when I think that I had the ultimate video and experience in my life, a day before, I have one that surpasses it. Let's get a closer look at the giant pagoda. I'll be honest with you guys; those shoes are comfortable, but it feels great to have them off. I know it's dark in here, guys, but I I wanted to show it to you. There's a peace that I'm feeling in here. I, I really n not the guy that says that ever. But I'm telling you, there's an, there's an energy in here. There is a I feel electric and uh, you know you know what the word is. Uh, I feel at peace. I feel really at peace and at ease in here. It's as if the stress has completely left my body. Any that I may have been feeling. Maybe I should stay inside. By the way, the name of the temple is Wat Pat Nam. If 
you're interested in coming here and visiting, I would uh, suggest follow my footsteps and do a walking tour. Same thing I did, same places I went. Hello. Hello, you tem temple kitty cat. How are you? You're petable? Yes, you are. You're very petable. You don't know why I always use this voice when I pet cats. This is the Barefoot Blogger saying, stay well, stay tuned, and stay happy. Thank you.